Let the meeting of the moms commence. Last week we decided your room is a mess. A magical fairy is not gonna clean it up. We then decided that if you do not clean it to our standards, we'll redo it ourselves. A magical fairy will clean it up. Now on to our first order of business. Everybody squish in, we're gonna take a photo. Come on now, you heard the lady. Michael, Tyler, no goofy faces. <sighs> what is taking so long? Just opening the, uh... <laughs> Wait a second. Okay. Find your lighting, guys. Stop being blurry while you are at it. Sweetie, you don't have your glasses on. Can I borrow yours? I have no idea where they are. Almost got it. Just let me, um... Uh, okay, nobody move, but also everyone squish in a little bit. And that's when I told her he's just a kid. He's 39. He's figuring things out. Mom! Oh, right. <laughs> oh, so close. Maybe if I just, um... Oh, dear. Are you sure you don't want a jacket? Positive. The statue's gonna last for a long time. I'd hate for your marbled likeness to get cold. I don't need a jacket. Okay, everybody, I got it. Three, two, one, cheese. Hey, all <laughs> right. Wow, nice one, Mom. That actually turned out pretty good. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> Oh, brother. Tyler, I said no goofy faces. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mom. We're gonna have to take it again. Ah! Great. Another stupid ad. You know the ads are targeted to your personal preferences. Are you telling me I need money fast? I'm saying you couldn't make it any slower. <laughs> nah, shoot. My phone died. Uh, Ethan, pull it up on yours. I'm sorry, what? The video. It was just about to get good. Wait, um, just load up the video. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see what targeted ads Ethan gets. Hi, I'm Dan the Chorus Man. Are you lonely with no purpose in life? <laughs> No, because my records now show that you are ready for part 23 of my premium masterclass, How to Fake Your Way into Friendship. What the heck is this all about, Ethan? I think my brother actually also uses this account. Of course he does. 
You invented it. Uh, maybe we just squip this one. Don't touch it. Everything about your current life is a fabrication. Designed to elicit pity. And thereby, friends. Even the accident? Especially the accident. Your parents didn't die in a chemical fire. This is the freaking longest ad in the history of all time. They're still alive in Australia, where you're actually from. Guys, please, I can explain. Which is another lie. <sighs> you beat me to it. So what are you waiting for? Register now for my final course. How to man up to your friends and tell them the truth. If I had known that was the final course, I never would have signed up in the first place. So you did take these courses. Ethan, you lied to us. Yeah. I had friends in college, but we didn't stay in touch. Suddenly, I found myself isolated, alone, <laughs> and to make matters worse, just a regular guy. It's difficult to make friends, period. And even harder when you've got nothing interesting to share. Ethan. You didn't have to make up a pathetic story to garner sympathy from us. The real one's pathetic enough. You mean, you don't mind? Sure, you lied. But you also helped my grandma move. That's real. Not to forget you visited me in the hospital. That's real too. Now if you'll excuse us, I think we'd like to finish watching a certain funny video with a certain best friend. Damn it. Sarah, do you mind pulling the video up on your phone? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hi. I'm Dan the Course Man. So you finally gathered a couple of broke loser virgins to sacrifice for your blood cult. Now you're probably wondering, what's next? Did you just bookmark that? 